What is up YouTube? Today we're talking about how to fix some of the issues that people are having with the Ledger Nano S firmware update. I know there's been a lot of talk about things that are going wrong. I'm here to help, so stick around to the end of this video. So guys, I actually did a video and I'll link that above about how to update your Ledger Nano S to the latest firmware version 1.4.1. And quite a few of you have left me comments in that video, so thank you very much. I hope it's been very helpful for you. But I wanted to post a follow-up video because a lot of people on Reddit and on YouTube have been commenting to me saying they're having issues with the update. And I found some of the workarounds for some of the issues that people are having, and I wanted to share those here. Now, first and foremost, people have been having a ton of issues with the Ledger Nano S getting stuck on the bootloader page or the update page. So when your ledger says bootloader or says update after you've held down the left hand button, unplugged it and replugged it and it just sits there. Now I actually had that issue the first time I did the update and really what this is because of is really just because of server load. The ledger servers are absolutely swamped because of all the people updating and pulling data from the servers. So my best advice to you is first to give it like 10 to 15 minutes to load. If it doesn't load, unplug it, replug it, and just follow the same steps again and give it 10, 15 minutes. It will work. Sometimes it takes a bunch of tries and I know it's frustrating, but don't be worried. Your coins are safe, but be warned. Definitely, definitely have your 24 word seed phrase backed up. Now, if you're stuck on update and restarting it doesn't work, there are actually two things that you can do. One is you go into your device manager and make sure that your drivers are updated for your USB ports. Now, sometimes people are gonna see this little yellow exclamation point or uh, warning sign on there. That means that a driver needs to be updated or the port is failing. So if you update drivers, a lot of times that will fix the issue. Also, if you're having issues with the USB port, you can just change ports. I know I've had a, quite a few people who said they just switched to another USB port. And sometimes that's because they have, you have different USB 3, USB 2, different USB ports that are really meant for different things. So try switching your USB port if you're stuck on update. And finally, if you're stuck on update and none of the previous steps have worked, the last thing you can do, in my opinion, to troubleshoot on your own before reaching out to Ledger is closing out some of the apps that could be interfering. I had some people that had parity running, so the Ethereum client that was interfering. Some people had really, really, really intrusive um, antivirus softwares. So McAfee is definitely one that probably is going to interfere. And if you're having issues, try disabling those or quitting those just while you're doing the update and you can boot them back afterwards. That has helped quite a few people. Now, the second thing, and it's a little bit confusing to people, but when they finished the first part of the update, their ledger gets stuck on the screen that says MCU firmware is not genuine. And this occurs for this reason and this reason alone. Because what happens is sometimes the update is installed backwards. The MCU part of the device is updated to version 1.5 before the firmware of the device is updated to version 1.4.1. So that creates a mismatch then it's going to say the MCU firmware or the MCU firmware isn't genuine because it doesn't match what the old version of the Ledger Nano S firmware is looking for. Now, if that's confusing, don't worry about it. I just want to explain exactly why this is happening. Now, to fix that, there are a couple of things that you can do. Some people have had a lot of success just simply unplugging the device with the left button held down and plugging it back in and restarting the Ledger Manager application. Everything boots back up and starts running fine. Other people, and mostly people who have older firmware and are updating across two versions, so from 1.2 or 1.3 and lower up to 1.4.1, those people are going to have to probably reset their Ledger Nano S with the following steps. If you get stuck on MCU firmware is not genuine, what you're gonna do is just use both buttons at the same time on your Ledger device, click through, and I'll show you what screens you're gonna see in order, and this is from the Ledger support page, so shout out to them for the photos. You bounce through all the menus, and eventually it's gonna ask you to reset your Ledger device. Once you do that, you're pretty much in good shape. If you do this while the Ledger Manager application is open, which you should be doing, you pretty much have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for everything to synchronize after you have allowed your device to reset. 
Once the ledger manager boots up, everything is synced. You then are gonna go to the firmwares tab. You're gonna go through the same update process and if you wanna see what that looks like, I'm gonna post the link to my video for how to install the firmware. Again, up here, just to walk you through the process. Some of you have also said it's gotten stuck on the page where it says installing OS updater on your ledger manager application, so on your computer, and you don't know what to do because it just keeps spinning and spinning. If that's the case, you're likely just missing the step where you have to click the check on your ledger device to say allow ledger manager and that will let you go ahead and go. If when it's spinning saying installing OS updater and you don't get the ask on your ledger and OS device, just unplug it, close your ledger manager application, replug it, open up the ledger manager application and give it another go and it should work just fine. Now, the last thing that I wanna to mention to you guys is that because of the heavy server load, some of these steps may require you to do it more than once. And I've noticed that there are quite a few different solutions to the same problem, depending on what ledger firmware you have, what device you have, what type of computer you have. So if, any, if you have any trouble, just let me know in the comments below. I've been trying my best to help out as many people because I know ledger support is absolutely slammed and they've been taking a bit to get back to you guys. So I wanna just lend my support. And I've done quite a few of these updates for people and helped quite a few people already. And I'd be happy to help you too. Thank you for sticking around and watching. Cheers, guys.